Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So we are going to try the Aquaphor under eye hack that is going viral around on social media right now. If I'm not mistaken, I think Scott Barnes kind of started the trend on social media, but this has been an industry hack for a very long time. Apparently, if you put Aquaphor under your eyes, it prevents under eye creasing. We're gonna substitute this for our under eye cream today. I have nothing on my skin right now, so I'm gonna do the under eye with my Aquaphor stick, and this is the Aquaphor Lip Repair Immediate Relief, and it's the one that kind of looks like a chapstick. It's not the squeeze tube that's a gel formula, this looks like a chapstick. I have nothing on the skin right now. I actually just made sure I took everything off that might be on the skin using my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. I'm gonna go straight in with this Aquaphor stick. Using my finger, I'm gonna pat that in and I'm using my middle finger. It's important when you tap this in to use either your middle or your ring finger because those are the most gentle just tapping this in making sure I'm going all the way up to my lash line and I'm not pushing too hard I'm not blending away too much product I just want to make sure it's evenly displaced so now I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and we're gonna come back okay so I'm back and I have on all of my makeup obviously now when I was applying my concealer I didn't necessarily feel a difference on the application but I could tell a difference when I was blending it out I used a fluffy brush to blend out my concealer and I had to do two layers which isn't abnormal for me. I was a little bit more tired this morning so my under eye bags were a little bit more prominent so I used a bit more concealer and I was blending it out with my under eye brush and it was just a little bit more sticky to the feel when I was blending it out. It just felt like the bristles were sticking to my under eye a little bit more. And I did allow this product to sit on my skin for quite some time. I did my eye makeup, my full foundation before I did my concealer. So it had ample amount of time to sit on the skin, get a little bit more dry, soak into those under eye creases. So it was still a little bit sticky when I was blending it out, which is no big deal. It still blended out fine. I could just feel a difference when I was actually using the blending brush. Then I applied my Huda Beauty Cupcake Powder underneath my eyes. And I will say it feels really secure. It feels really good. It's currently 1230 now and I've been wearing my makeup for a little while. I'd probably say I've had it on for about an hour. I don't see it settling into any fine lines as of yet. But I will continue to wear this and I will let you guys know at the end of the day how I feel about this hack and if it actually is a hack or not. Hi. Okay, so it is currently 7.40, oh, 7.49 p.m. It's almost 8 o'clock and I've had this makeup on since 11.30 in the morning. So needless to say, it's been on all day and the hair did not make it and the lipstick did not make it but the under eyes look really nice and they also feel really soft like when you touch the skin under your eye it doesn't feel greasy powdery cakey it's really like soft so i don't know if that was because of the aquaphor or if it's the powder that i used or what but my under eyes did not crease let me zoom you guys in So as you guys can see, it's pretty smooth. I have fine lines under my eyes. And so there's really nothing you can do to make that not look like there's lines here unless you get like filler, like cheek filler or Botox under your eyes or um, surgery. You can just see when you smile naturally, if you don't have skin there you won't be able to smile so that's normal but what i'm looking for is separation of makeup so the makeup is all still there lines normal lines that you can see demarcation of makeup so like there's no makeup makeup no makeup makeup that's what i'm looking for and it's really smooth I have discoloration that is just the pigment that I naturally have so that is not makeup that transferred or anything like that that's just me but does the aquaphor trick work 
I'm gonna say yes and no. I do think that it gives a beautiful base underneath your makeup so that the makeup will kind of adhere to it but still be hydrated. I don't think it's like a miracle worker or if you're looking for this to be some sort of like cosmetic procedure that will erase certain things that are innate to human anatomy, it's not gonna do that. But I think it's a really nice trick. I will be using this for my clients. Um, and yeah, so that's my opinion. That's my opinion! Anyways, this was fun to try out. I'm glad I got to wear it all day to see if it would slip and slide. I was really concerned. It's, I, I feel like it's putting petroleum underneath your eyes and that makes me think that it's just gonna slip and slide around. But it didn't do that and it was fun to kind of see how it worked and I'm actually a little impressed about how my under eyes do look as far as how the makeup lasted for, what is that? Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today and seeing if the Aquaphor trick really works or not. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Leave it a like. Give it a like. I am actually surprised in a good way. I think that my under eyes look pretty good for having this makeup on for eight hours and it not really budging moving around, especially for like how this feels. Like it's greasy. I was not expecting that. So. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next one.